Hi, my name is Ray Chakur from Rastronics. Today I'm going to show our solutions or our full kit for the Toyota Sienna Hybrid 2020. This is the Toyota Sienna. This is the system installed in. There is one little module over there, very, very small, that can do 90% of the functions on, on this uh, van. I'm going to show a few things. Now, uh, this van, uh, because it's a, it's a hybrid, uh, which is uh, electric so uh, there is no engine run so when you start the engine you have to see this symbol will change so uh, just to show so i'm going to show a few things here so the first one is accessories second the short press is the uh, is the ignition so as we can see there is no engine run and it's only the ignition and i'm going to show how to start the engine now if i shortly press now if i press and hold without pressing the foot brake now the system is ready and the engine is running. So basically the engine is running when the system is showing ready here. The ready signal is showing that the engine is already on and it's ready to drive. I didn't show the, the lane assist, so I'm gonna show it again here. If I manually turn on the lane assist, as we can see here, okay, I will shut down the engine from the screen. Okay, so I activate the ignition first, this is accessories, second press we get the ignition, so as we can see that the lane assist is still on, and this will be automatically cancelled only after starting the engine, so here I will press and hold the, the touch screen, okay, now we have the ready signal, the ready is showing that the engine is already running, and the lane assist five seconds after the engine detected, it will automatically cancel and uh, this will uh, disable the, the gear or the steering from struggling getting into the uh, uh, okay so shifting now of course we manually have to press the foot brake it's not an uh, it's not an option so here shortly press so we get the reverse and the the system uh, by default because it uh, has an electronic electronic parking brake so it's cancelled automatically but so we still able to press and hold to activate the uh, the park brake press and hold to release okay press and hold it activates and it's behaving exactly the same as the factory now if i shift into drive okay press and hold of course it should be uh, automatically uh, cancelled and here we we can drive press and hold for the neutral shortly press for the reverse Okay, and it, it automatically, when you shift to park, it automatically detects the vehicle speed and it activates the parking brake automatically. And even if I shift to drive, here it will, it will release immediately the parking brake. So it's very smart and very easy to use and it's very, very nice for the someone that with, with some disabilities driving with this van. Okay, now this is the gear shifter. Now I'm going to show also the uh, the windows. So this is the passenger window. Very very quick. This is the passenger side, driver side. It's all fully canvas. There is no need to add another uh, relays or to open the plastic or the doors. Uh, this is the regarding the mirrors. So here we can select the passenger side, uh, driver side, and then we can control it. So of course, if we select now the passenger side, These are for the mirrors and windows. Now, if we go to the HVAC, we can select this is the uh, this HVAC icon or symbol. So we have two HVACs here. So, so basically some of the rear, these are doesn't, we don't do any of the rear functions, but it is possible. And then we select the main HVAC. So here we can control the AC as an example. Okay, if we press and hold, we get the auto function. Here it's the auto, so press and hold. When you have two symbols in one switch, meaning that there are two functions into it. So one is the shortly press. Okay, and the other one is press and hold. Now, of course, the off press and hold as the off. 
as we can see it's all turned off shortly press to activate the fan speed okay temperature now if we change the temperature on the on one on the passenger side if somebody change that so we can control only the driver side because this is only this is how the manufacturer the, the, the made it so if i put here on the low okay and so there are there is a difference between the passenger side and the driver side so this button will do more functions than the usual one so if you press and hold we get this sync so the sync meaning that it equalizes passenger and driver side Okay, now for this one, we this can select the uh, the um, the airflow, as we can see. Okay, so uh, as an example, so we have the floor only, the floor front defrost. Then you have the front defrost only to select this. So you have to cycle through uh, four times. You have to press this button. In this van, there is a special button for this, but here you have to cycle. So now when we cycle again, then we get the rear, uh, the fr uh, the floor front front and the floor floor only floor defrost and front defrost now if we want to activate the rear defrost of course the engine must be running so we have to select the second screen and then we can activate this is the short press of course all in short mode and few milligrams so there is no need to struggle with this and of course the um, this one I don't think I made it but it should be working now this one should work when we activate when we cancel the the front defrost here so we can activate so the front defrost because it's a safety function and uh, there it as uh, the system assumes that there is a snow or something and uh, there is fog on the on the windshield so it, it cancels the uh, uh, the circulate so it needs fresh air from the outside that's why it doesn't function now if we press and hold here we turn it off it's all done. This is on the HVAC side. On the multifunction, of course. So here we have the uh, the wipers. Of course, we can use round devices, voice scan, any any function, any input device. But here, just to show. So here it activates the uh, yeah, and I want to show also the cancelling according to the steering uh, position. So if we can, if we rotate the steering to this side, it's fully on can. So here we activate. As we can see, the factory is not even moved. Okay, same thing if we activate to the other side. It cancels only on return from the side we are indicating. The same on the, on the right side. Of course, wipers. So we have the, the first uh, press. We have the, uh, the intermittent wipe, normal wipe, rapid wipe, and press and hold for the uh, wash front washers uh, we didn't wire any of the rear ones double beep meaning the system cancelled and uh, it's ready to go uh, the same with the uh, headlights so press and hold to activate the headlights shortly press to activate the flash Here. No, okay and press and hold to activate to latch the the high beam shortly press at any time it cancels the uh, the high beam okay thank you for watching